everyone, welcome to another edition of Front Door Unlocked, the vlog. Today we're gonna to talk about our new top 10, which we just released recently, and it's called the top 10 home buying mistakes that can cost you. Now, I'm sure you've heard a lot about first time home buyers and bargain hunters out in full force throughout the country, uh, looking for those great steals, bargains, especially with all the foreclosures and REOs and short sales that are available right now. So they're looking for those rock bottom prices and at the same time take advantage of that $8,000 tax credit, which is available to them. So obviously with that going on in the market, we wanted to come up with a top 10 list that was informative, timely, and would educate all the buyers that are out there and basically bring it back to the basics. There's so much focus on price right now and home value, but we wanted to bring back the emphasis on uh, what you need to do, the due diligence that you need to do when you're buying a home. It's a huge deal. So for example, let's talk about number 10, which is you're gonna go house hunting without a pre-approval. So the pre-approval itself isn't such a huge deal. I mean, that's not something that's set in stone. It's not a guarantee that you're gonna get money from the lender. It's just basically offering you a guideline so that you know what kind of price range you can actually afford. Um, so what, what happens is that you're going to shop for a lender or a mortgage broker to take a look at your finances, your entire financial picture, so that's your credit, your assets, income, debt, and any liabilities you have. So think about it, that's hugely important when you're shopping for a house. You don't wanna look at you know homes in the $400,000 range if in reality you can only afford something in a $300,000 range. I mean, you're just gonna get your feelings hurt if you fall in love with a home that is way beyond your price range. So the pre-approval is immensely important in giving you a kind of structure to the home buying process because it also forces you, forces you to approach a lending professional. When you're buying a house, you wanna start thinking about financing at the very beginning. You don't wanna start looking for a home and then think about financing later because by the time you get your ducks in a row, the house may be gone, especially if it's a good deal. So you want to start thinking about that from the very beginning so that you can go to these sellers and show them that you've done your due diligence in the sense that you've had someone look at your finances and you are a serious buyer and that you can afford this house and that there's a lender that's willing to back you up. Uh, now, like I said, it's not a guarantee, but it definitely is a help when you're shopping and it just kind of puts you in the right mindset when you're looking for a house. So the next thing I wanna to talk to you guys about is the summer season. Of course, we're well into it. And if you're not actively buying or selling in this market right now, but you do own a home, you might wanna consider fixing up your backyard, doing some home updates. Now, you may not want to pour money into your home, especially if it's in a market where it's declining in value, but you may wanna consider it, especially if you're going to live in the home for a pretty long time, because at least in this period, you can enjoy your backyard, and if you're gonna be there for a while, you can get a lot of enjoyment from it. So, um, we have an article on frontdoor.com which talks about summer season updates and how much uh, return on investment you can get from them. So uh, there's four of them and I want to talk about them briefly and then you can read more about it in the article. So the first update would be your landscaping. Now you don't have to spend thousands of dollars to put in a fountain and these lush flowers. I mean, all it really takes can be something as simple as a well-maintained green lawn. You just don't want it to look like it's been neglected because <laughs> then it doesn't stand out compared to the foreclosure that may be you know, around the corner. So what you want to do is at least have a yard, a backyard that's easy to maintain so that the new homeowner doesn't have to have a green thumb to fix it up and enjoy it. Now some other summer updates you can do is add an outdoor kitchen, add an outdoor living room, add a swimming pool, or you know, add a deck. Now of those four, which one do you think gives you the best return on investment? Well, go to the article on frontdoor.com and find out. Well, that's all from us here at frontdoor.com. As usual, you can go to the site frontdoor.com for some great home buying and selling tips and advice. Have a wonderful holiday weekend, and if you're going house hunting this weekend, good luck. Happy house hunting.